If you ever go pin trading at the Disney parks, you'll tend to notice the same pins over and over and over and over again on the cast member lanyards and pin boards. This fact is unfortunately due to the bulk fake and scrapper pin lots sold on eBay and Amazon. If you see a pin lot that looks like any of these photos with the pins coming in little plastic baggies like these ones, there is a 100% chance that every single pin is a fake or a scrapper. People, either unknowingly or knowingly, buy these eBay pin lots to use as traders in the parks. A hundred pins for $40! Well, that deal is only so good because every last one of those pins is fake. The fake pins in these lots are ones that counterfeit factories can cheaply and easily mass produce. So namely, hidden Mickey pins. The counterfeit lots tend to end up with pretty much the same selection of pins and fake molds get used year after year, so the same fake pins keep finding their way to pin boards and cast member lanyards. But there are notably some pins that you see on just about every single pin board because they come from these fake pin lots and nobody really knows what the heck they are. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the most commonly faked pins, tell you what they're supposed to be, and show you how to distinguish a fake when possible. We're going to start off with what in my opinion are the ugliest hidden Mickey pins in existence. And that would be the World of Color Fountainheads. These hidden Mickeys were released at Disneyland in 2011, and they're made to be anthropomorphized fountainheads from the World of Color nighttime show, but really they're just terrifying. Not only are they weird looking, but they're highly faked and you'll find them in many pin lots. There are various versions of these fakes, but the most obvious ones are far darker in color. Another of the Disneyland Hidden Mickey series that you constantly see faked on all the pin boards is Mickey's Toontown Pinwheels from 2013. Again, most people have no idea what these designs are supposed to be, but they're designed after the pinwheels found by Goofy's house in Mickey's Toontown out in Disneyland. You have the baseball player, cycling lady, juggling clown, runner, flying man, and ice skater. The fakes of these pins are generally quite off in color, like with neon yellows, and tend to have pretty awful scratchy paint. This next set of hidden Mickeys I do think are pretty neat. They're from Walt Disney World, released in 2008, and are styled after the car window decals that Disney sells. They have a set of a family with mouse ears, mom, dad, son, daughter, and baby, and a set of pets with mouse ears, bird, dog, fish, cat, and pig. The pig pin, however, is the only one from the set that has not been heavily faked and is thus incredibly rare. If you find a pig pin, you've got yourself a real find. Released in conjunction with this set of hidden Mickeys at Walt Disney World was Mickey's Fun Food Collection. All of these pins are as heavily faked as the other, but you tend to find this pin on the boards more than the others. Because, uh, what is it? Well, it's supposed to be a buckeye, which is a peanut butter and chocolate candy. Yum! made to look like the seed of a buckeye tree. All the fakes of this pin have really off coloring, where it's supposed to be a light tan on top, some fakes are too dark or are abrasively yellow. Another hidden Mickey set that I quite like but has unfortunately been faked to smithereens is the Disneyland 2013 Wilderness Explorer Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. Styled after Russell's badges from Up, you have pins for animal spirit, puzzle solving, rock climbing, bravery, tracking, and wolf howl. Woo! I think the tracking pin ends up on boards most often since it's hard to tell what it is on its own. A more recent set of Hidden Mickeys that you're seeing a lot now are the 2015 Hidden Mickeys from Walt Disney World that feature the Epcot Center logos. I do think this is a pretty cool collection, but they were faked pretty soon after being released and not many people know the Epcot logos. You have Horizons, Journey into Imagination, Communicore, The Land, and The Living Seas. This older set of Walt Disney World Hidden Mickeys from 2007 is right up there for the award of most commonly faked, and that's the Character Feet Collection. You have Minnie's Footprints, Donald's, Mickey's, and Goofy's. It seems like all the Goofy ones have some weird error on the right foot, but the mark is supposed to be there and represents a hole that Goofy has supposedly worn through the sole of his shoe. These pins have been faked for so long that there are so many different generations of fakes out there, and each one is slightly different but equally junky. Without a doubt, we're on to the most heavily faked set of hidden Mickeys of all time. I think it's a rule that you'll find multiples of these pins on every single pin board you encounter. And that would be the 2010 Walt Disney World Disney Resorts and Past Attractions series of hidden Mickeys. The Disney Resort series are designed after various types of actual hidden Mickeys that are found at the resorts. There's a hidden Mickey on the pillow of the Yacht Club Resort. The fakes of this pin are abrasively off and yellow in color. 
the hidden Mickey on the carpeting at the beach club resort, the hidden Mickey from the entrance near the Polynesian resort. Super easy to distinguish the fakes on this one. Real ones are gray like an actual rock and the fakes are a funky brown and yellow. Hidden Mickey on the bedding of the Caribbean beach resort, and Hidden Mickey on the shower curtain from Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think it's a rule that there has to be at least five of the shower curtain pins on every pin board. Then for the past attractions, you have SMRT1, the robot from Communicore at Epcot, the Plaza Swan Boats from the Magic Kingdom, again, all different shades of what should be a peach color, the former sign of the Magic Kingdom clock, this one you actually don't see too often from the set, the butler robot from the Horizons attractions, which you do see everywhere, and everyone's most favorite faked pin that nobody knows what the heck it is, the seagull from the If You Had Wings attraction of the Magic Kingdom. Count the number of these seagull pins you see during a day at the parks and I'm pretty sure you'll soon reach infinity. Now let's do a quick exercise on this pin board and circle all the hidden mickeys that are from the resorts and attractions set to prove my point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. A few that is a lot of fake pins. Just to underscore the fact that these Hidden Mickey series are so heavily faked, I'm also going to circle all the pins that we've talked about so far. For perspective, we've discussed just shy of 50 different pins, and Pinpix currently states there are over 120,000 Disney pins. And keep in mind, official Disney pin trading guidelines say when trading with a cast member, guests should offer a pin that is not currently displayed on the cast member's lanyard. That rule kind of goes out the window when there are literally five of the same pin on every board. I did also want to quickly give some honorable mentions for most common fakes. You also tend to see this 2010 Disneyland bed knobs and broomsticks Hidden Mickey series all over. The fakes are a number of different off colors. And this 2014 Disneyland Mater's Junkyard Jamboree signs collection. The Mater Hawk pin in particular is doing its darndest to make its way on every pin board and I think it's just about there. So a common theme that you see with these heavily faked pins is that colors are generally quite off. Some of the best examples of this can give are the Polynesian pin that I talked about earlier, this series of the Haunted Mansion Hitchhiking Ghosts, they should all be blue hues in color but the fakes are varying shades of yellow, and the Nemo Fish Bags. The tops of the bags are supposed to be pure white but the fakes again are varying shades of yellow. The counterfeit producers do not do well when handling the color yellow. So now you know why there are so many of these same pins in the parks and what they actually are of. The counterfeit pin lots sold on eBay and Amazon truly suck the fun out of pin trading when the pins themselves are junk quality and it becomes the same 10 pins over and over on every pin board. Disney pin trading is such a fun and addictive hobby and I love my pins and I really do hope that one day it can become fun in the parks again. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video and please do consider subscribing if you'd like to see more Disney and pin related content. And I hope you have a zippity doo Disney day!